It's morning ish. Is it? Yeah, still morning. And I'm listening to watching a quilting video while we talk uh, for this new fabric I got. It's a monthly thing. I wouldn't have picked out the fabric. I'm happy to have it. Uh, but you're not here for that. You're here for this. Yeah. So I thought <laughs> these pieces are so covered with candle wax. It's great. Uh, I thought I would do one more step this morning. Uh, so let's see the next step is. We need sheets five and eight. These have been our besties lately. Here's five. Five, we need these plus gears. And from here, we need this Y wing. These gotta be cut out. I don't think it's telling me to cut them out, but it's clear to me. Oh gosh, that cut went a little. Okay, this piece. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this woman was just arguing getting more stash as a way to stash bust because then you have more stash to get rid of. That's some next level marketing. Because there's a part of me that knows it will work. You know what's really distracting? These earbuds cause an audio video desync TikTok video. I'm not watching TikTok. Who do you think your audience is, girl? Not you. Her. Okay. That was the pieces from five. So the short one's 22, <clears throat> long one's 23, these are 27. Now we need eight. Oh, eight called for that Dealey Bob. Where did I put it? you okay it was this piece I don't know what number it is but I hope I recognize it and then also okay we have here and then we take this piece and 
And it goes on here. Points are bent. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Go on. Go back in the middle. You got this. You got that. Okay. I'm really gently, oh God, oh gosh, Maria, 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 don't lift it up to show people. <laughs> I'm really gentler, smooshing those together. Okay, you know what's happening is I'm pushing the cocktail sticks down. They're not coming up through here. Who foresaw that happening? That's kind of okay. So now there's these pieces that have to go through the top layer. Okay. That's fine. Because the next step is to cut these off. Okay. We did it. Now I have to cut these off on both sides. You saw the hammer break one. Thank you, hammer. So I'm cutting to about the halfway point and then snapping them. Kind of like if I was cutting an, a tree with an axe, I think. Oh!
Well, little pieces of cocktail stick all over the place. Let's have some tea. This quilt that she's making this month seems a lot simpler than the one I just did, am working on now from last month. But also, I'm not going to make the one for this one. Okay. Whoo! Remember this was gonna be like quick? Just one step, Maria. I don't have a green check mark yet. Girl. We did this. Okay, now we do this. Wants us to wax parts of this. I feel like I could do that first before the next step. Because we're going to do this gentle. <laughs> no Hulk smash. This is good. Gonna do all this. Yep. And then I'm gonna have to wax this next, so may as well do that now. Okay, so we have this, which looks like a spaceship from sci-fi. Not necessarily a particular sci-fi.
Yeah. Oh, you're good, Maria. You're good. Everything's good. Just take it slow. Just tap it in. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like actually there's some stuff here that I could sand. That'll help. Mm -hmm. A little more wax. Okay, last one. Mm -mm. Okay, now it has these arrows like this, and it wants to go through the one at the top. Okay, let's see. There were words on the next page about this. We're going to have to pause her. Can I only choose these numbers? <clears throat> Clarification. By default, a safe is assembled with a standard combination lock code, 321. Now, my aside, that's my birthday, so I kind of like that as a code, but also 321 is way too easy. To set another code, during assembly, you will need to replace the pegs numbered 48 and 49, located in three large washers labeled 40, 41, and 42, into the slots with other numbers, see figure one. You can find code setting options in Table 1. Caution! Do not install pegs into the washers marked 1, 2, 3 into slots with opposite numbers. For instance, 1 and 4 or 4 and 9. See figure 2. The final digit of the code will depend on how the lock knob is set in the hole of the part 32 and after that in the door of the safe. The correct position for installation is marked on part 32 with arrows and digits 1 through 6 and 2 through 7. Do not install the lock knob in a slot without error. arrows. See figure 3. It didn't tell me that I needed these other pieces. Thank you. There's these pieces. Okay, so here's what it shows me. I 
it kind of looks like an I can only have one of four different numbers. There's no pegs. I found the pegs. Is putting this together the next step or are they just, holy good night. There's a lot of words here now. Yeah. What are you? These are like octung. It is so difficult to understand the order in which to do these things. Here's a page. So here we have one, two, three, four, then down here, five, six. And you see how this has an arrow that goes like that, and then that has an arrow that goes like that. I don't think that's meant to imply an order, even though it kind of looks like one. So then this piece down here, I think must be part of step four up here. I don't know. I don't know, maybe I just haven't had enough tea. So I need this piece is 40. We're going to do this one at a time. We're not going to get all the pieces ready. Told me I had to sand this. Taking it serious. It's sanded. Then it's saying I have to wax it. Now, I'm not sure if I have to wax the whole outside or just this little dip it part. But probably the whole outside. I mean, maybe not even in the dip it part. I feel like you could use a crayon for this. Make it festive. Use one of those wax resist crayons you get with Easter egg kits. I put a pretty good amount of wax on here. Okay. Now I need a 49. Two 49s are going to come out. They're besties. over here it's so confusing because the peg to get this to be three two one 
you put these in one, zero, and seven. To get the code to be six, four, one, you put the pegs in nine, six, and two. So you'll note that there's no similarity between those numbers, even though the one is the same between them. But let's be honest, the efficacy of this as a safe is somewhat doubtful because I put it together with my hands. I imagine a hammer could get into this. So now we have this piece. And it's like saying octung. So it's that. Now the bottom is sticking out, so I'm going to step this on my tea mug, which is empty now. Don't breathe on it, okay? It might fall in. It's not that empty. Then we need 41. Let me sand that. I think this worked better. Okay, there's that. Then I need a piece 48. It's a little guy. This piece really doesn't want to go in. Okay. Yep. Okay.
Okay. What are you trying to show me, friend? I don't know what you are even showing me, but I'm going to assume it's checkmark. Then from piece eight, we need another fence style. Mm -hmm. This is tough. Because I don't want to turn these. Okay. Mm hmm. Oh, heavens. Oh, yeah. Okay. Shh. 
Nike. Okay. Whoo! That was intense. It was very intense. Now, take one of our axles. I'm gonna wax this. Now what I do is I stick this through the middle of these dials. And through the middle of this, and then there's a hole here. Mm-hmm. So many things are happening right now that are scary. Okay. Okay. Man. Check mark. Check mark. This neck check mark looks okay. But we'll be done for now. Thanks for hanging out. Look what we did. We check marked.